Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna upgrade all our cockpit compounds of the car of the Lancer Guinea. So let's go through the items that we are gonna upgrade today. So first of all we have a straining wheel which is from SARS which is a, a branded straining wheel which is uh, valid for motorsport racing from FIM as well. Uh, and then we have the boss kit to mount the straining wheel to the car. So this is the boss kit. It is also from a good bag. And we have the gear lever of the car which is a multicolor metal. So we will go and upgrade all of this. Before that we will have a look what do we have inside the car when it's stock. So in stock we have the Mitsubishi stock steering wheel with the horn as well but this car doesn't come with airbags so it doesn't have airbag inside and this is the stock gear lever which we have it looks pretty classic kind of and yeah that's the overall look of the cockpit at the moment we'll upgrade the thing and we'll see how it looks Well, this one is a knocker. Step in at the dance and I just my dance. Make things scatter. Right? Alright, we took the steering wheel out. A little tip when you're taking the steering wheel out. So, when you have it like this, you'll have this nut. Nut over here. Before taking it all the way out, Keep it like this halfway and move it around so you can get this loose without hitting your face on the freaking steering wheel. And then remove the thing and get the steering wheel out. Alright. After that, we go and unbox our boss kit. This is our boss kit. So we take the boss kit first. We can put it like this and put that ball down. Alright, the boss kit is in now. We'll unbox our string wheel and see how it looks. Ta -ta -ta. Oh, it looks so nice with a nice bag and all. So I went with a pretty standard string wheel. You can see the sauce log in the middle with the horn. Beep, beep, beep. This is the leather finish of it. It looks so sick on this car, so because the car is also metallic color, it looks sick. After this is aligned, you have to keep the stream wheel like that, press it in, and put all of these balls in, and then you're ready to go. Right now man active Down with the game like a ballist He bring the flame like a matches Test me not Put out the slackness Active style and pass and the summer there Active Alright the steering wheel is on It looks sick After getting the steering wheel on, we have to remove the gear knob. Do that. 
Wanna live life massive Talking up and off with brandish Touch you down with the world hostage When I start the bump up like mash pit When I step out to a place get active Clocks on the teeth side, bad bitch on the east side Big split, chillin' on the beat side, run things where you Alright, the shift knob is in There's a small gap here but I don't mind that cause it looks sick and it looks so good You. Now this is how the cockpit look like Woo, it looks sick Da 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 Ooh, LED lights Be like me, get big, have a club on the peace side Freestyle now, millions of each line too cool, man I need ice in my beverage Test this bigger, please find the exit Right now man active Got me the game like a bandit We bring the flame like a mattress Let's me know, but don't let's lock this active Stand up and tackle some man there Alright, after overall, we upgraded the gear knob, the straining wheel, and the full cockpit. So, also, when you have a look at the lights, oh, that looks nice. Also, if you know, uh, my headlight is a big LED bar, so including that. Yeah, that's how the car overall look like. So in the next uh, upgrades, I'm thinking of getting a new head unit, which has Apple CarPlay, I guess, which will be cool. Um, also, I was actually thinking of getting bucket seats, uh, but these are really comfortable. If you get bucket seats on a daily driver, mm, that's not the most comfortable thing to do. Mm, so. I'll have, I'll have to think about that uh, other than that uh, yeah there's a new video coming about lowering the car and getting coil lowers on actually if you see the car is now lowered from the front as well if you see uh, but I'll put a new video with full details how it went through uh, in the next episode uh, so for now it's the end of the vlog I hope you enjoyed the video see you